Greetings everyone, this is Thungon here on the Minecraft dance server and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of what I've done so far. Um, this is at the, the bottom of a ravine near the plot of 2170, 2170 and I have mobs raining down on my head but that's all cool. Um, I'll be gathering obsidian this much for building my house at main spawn and it's way over there and for the most part what I've done has is split into two different categories um, the first part is digging out a nether portal in, for the nether hub and that was a disaster but I'll say that when we go to the nether and the second part is right up, up on the surface and now I'll show you that right now. So I'm back up on the surface. Right down there is a ravine. That cobblestone right there is one of the bridges in it. And this is my chest room. Um, fair bit of stuff here. The only thing really lacking is food. Um, I really need to get some stable food going. Um, I do want to grab some of this. And... No, never mind don't need that. Yes, yeah, some of these will definitely help though. And I've been stri I strived on the bread from the communi community wheat farm back at spawn, but it's quickly ran out and that's a different story. But it quickly ran out and I've been striving on apples ever since and right outside Here's my nether portal. I have a pig and a mushroom and a bunch of trees. Um, the most annoying thing in Minecraft for many people is people who leave tall trees hanging. And that is what this build is all about. Um, this is my ice place. The exact coordinates of 217-2170 um, are right there. And I built into the mountain and I'm slowly building a huge forest tree canopy above my head um, taking down all these small trees this is how you force tall trees to grow a sapling next to four blocks will for the most part force tall tree to grow if it has room um, without these four blocks the, it has a possibility of growing the other smaller trees but with the four blocks there it does not like to choose those smaller trees so it does choose the larger trees and if it has room unlike some of these like this one perhaps it will actually choose the bigger tree and actually grow in this area and that's what this little project is what my main home is gonna be on um, this little tree forest canopy thing I will put stuff on top but like bridges and all that stuff good stuff on top but for the most part everything will be under the tree canopy and I quite like it um, the snow capped stuff makes it look really cool and all that fun stuff another little project I had planned but abandoned was if it could load let's see if it loads Let's try right over up on this mountain instead. Here we go. Um, I went up with netherrack since I had a billion of it after the nether failure. And in it, up there, I plan on, well, planned on like dropping lava all the way down over the mountain and creating. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, just DC'd, I guess. But, yeah, so I plan on dropping lava down and flooding this area with lava and then removing the lava and pouring water down and then turning all the lava into cobblestone and repeat that pattern about 50 billion times and you'll have yourself a nice tall cobblestone mountain. Um, problem is, you have to repeat it 50 billion times, as I found out in creative modes. I'm not really sure how that, <laughs> if I'll find the motivation to do that. Um, 
I'll probably have to set up a machine to do it. Probably like a redstone machine with five minute timers and use pointless stuff in the dispensers. So it switches between water and lava every five minutes and then I could just AFK in my area and let it run all night while it does its little thing and get it working. The reason I have why I have three doors is so these mobs don't escape. So I could at least have one because they're always at the doors. Always. They're always right next to it. They always want to go out. Just like here. So since I have two in here, I needed a third door for myself to get in and out without having these guys escape. And the mushroom. Um Close to that pillar over there, um, at the bottom of it, I found a wandering random mushroom. So I guess in the ocean to the right, there is a mushroom island somewhere nearby, and I guess there's mushrooms that wandered to my land at some point in the life of the fancer, because I found it in the middle of a tundra. True story. Completely weird and random. So this is the nether. Uh, my portal is right here. And it is exactly one eighth of the coordinates of my portal in the overworld, so it will link directly to and from it with no interference at all. And the problem is, um, when I first created the when I first created the overworld Nether portal and divided the coordinates, I divided it by two instead of eight, and that leads to disaster, as I quickly found. Because you end up really, really digging a long ways, more than necessary. And I dug, I used constantly a billion stone picks and a billion other things. But I did not have to use that. And I went out to 8000x, 8000z when I entered the nether portal that I made at the round coordinates here in the nether. And that was just plain disaster. <sighs> yeah. Whatever. It's over. And I finally have it done. Um, speaking of which. This secret tunnel is attached to another secret tunnel. And the secret tunnel. My secret tunnel has an X coordinate of 279. I believe it is. Oh no. I hope it's 279. So if you want to find my place, you want to come to 279 in this tunnel and you dig into my area. And I haven't just talked with the owner of this tunnel yet to see if we can't come up with a compromise or something neat or clean that we both agree on uh, that mostly follows her terms to connect my tunnel to this properly without interfering more than having a secret secret tunnel but this is Morgwen's tunnel and it's behind Dark Fan's portal and it leads to Morgwen's area and yeah I haven't talked to her yet and fig to figure out anything to do with these portals and these tunnels um, it did make my life a lot easier to not dig out so much netherrack although for my project in the Spawn Town, I do want a lot of netherrack. So yes, to get to this tunnel, you'll click on Morgan's button that you do not press, and it opens a door behind Dark Fan's portal. Yep. That's how you get to my place, and this whole area is lagging, but it is behind... Oh, I forget the color. I'm gonna starve anyways. Ooh, I have this. Cool. There we go. It's right there. It's not far from the hub. Um, unlike the first attempt, which was crazy far away. But it's still a decent walk, and there's no easy path. But this is yellow tunnel. Um, the end farm is through red. I was playing, uh, the original path I took was through orange. But, I went to go to spawn and, uh, 
work on my little uh, get to my house. Okay, I'm back on my plot, and it appears I have two new neighbors. Um, this is XXX Peep XXX, and this is Arrowhood Robin. I believe it's what it is, but I'm going off of a map that I saw in Rayman's uh, weekly video, a uh, new series uh, about from uh, multiple words in there that did not need to be in there, but a new series based on the ongoings of the on of this server on a weekly basis. I actually quite like that design. But I'm here and I have new neighbors and my plot has been plagued with the bane called torches when this plot is not meant to be torch filled. And as you can see, I am lagging server-wise. Teleporting creepers. Can't handle this power of five bow though. That's good. But I've been plagued with torches on this plot that should not have had any torches at all. And it appears of, as though I already have a ton of netherrack here, which is really good. Uh, I could get going and planning right away. Um, don't know why it reads on me, but okay. But I did get some food at this place over there and thank you so I have to yeah so uh, yes I my plans for this plot are sort of going to be lava based like lava aqueducts or lava ducks or however you want to call it um, the first thing that's got to go are these trees because this is not supposed to be a green plot um, green will go towards yep achievement get thank you game for resetting once again but I wanted to save these trees just in case but I don't want to save them anymore so I want to take them down and I can't shoot behind vines so it's all good okay Stop shooting me. Stop. Stop. Ah, I, I hate these things. So I, I can't see why they lit it up, but... Grr. You plagued it with torches. And that's not the point of this whole plot. The point of this plot is to not use any torches consistent with the 404 challenge because this is plot 404 to repeat that from last episode and I claimed it to make little adventures here and that's what I'm gonna do once I actually get a good base going and a good solid ground for adventures and create mini puzzles and things like that for people to come and do on my a plot instead of it being purely aesthetical like other plots here or this is a lot of saplings from one tree but <laughs> It's good to know, it's, uh, swamp trees might be better to chop down in ultra hardcore because you might get more apples that way. Yep, here we go. Although, who really knows in the end? But, he's, he's gone, he has fire, and he gets the idea. And, that's what I'm going to do with all that netherrack and all that. I'm going to. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this huge lake, but I do know what I'm going to do with all this sand. Wink, wink. Um, but I'll get back to you, and with a little bit of a house going, and a little bit of a basis, and some plans for what I'll be building on this plot. Alright, quick little update. I'm beating some slimes down at my basement in hopes of getting some coal to start smelting some of the sand I just got, but I'm glad there's a slime chunk down here because slimes are pretty tough to get sometimes. Um, well, all the time, unless you have a full uh, slime farm going, and I don't have that, and I don't think there is one on this server yet. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but at this moment, my only sources of slime are the sounds I hear in caves like I'm hearing right now. But, 
How much coal did I get? 12. Just a little bit more. Um, fortune 3 should help that. And 21 is more than enough. Here's another slime. Sounds like it's up here. Hmm. I don't really know. But let's go to the surface and see what I did. Um, let's go right back up here. And 16 slime. Oh, here it is. Is it right beneath here? Yeah, I'm distracted by slime. You shiny. Um, where is it? Is it below me again? Okay, I'm not that distracted. So let's get back up. Shows rare again up here. That's right. And I did a lot of work. Um, I cleared out all the sand and cobblestone um, using stone shovels. I don't care about uh, shovels much. Stone is perfectly fast enough for me. This is my lava pool, and this is my secret furnace, which where I'll will begin smelting. Um, and it's night again. That's it's always lovely to be night in this area for reasons like that. Um, hmm. I really need some swords. So let's go to my secret crafting table. Yes. Um, stone swords would do fine for now. Um, I'll I'll get some tools later on. Um. But you're just gonna stand there. Apparently, I'll just stand here too. But I want you to get closer, so I'll this swim to you. But as you can see, netherrack already. Um, basically, all the sand in this area I converted to netherrack, and I do this all the way around every single patch of sand of the under the water, all the way down to the deepest part of these pools and I did that because sand is too bright for what I'm going for on this plot and I don't want brightness I want well I want lava to light it up I want that sort of brightness but as far as the blocks itself go I want dark stuff like netherrack or and fall into a hole obsidian like here and gravel um, although gravel is lighter in a normal texture pack, it will, it's a nice gray enough that it won't clash. And I want to replace all this grass here with the gravel to get rid of this pretty ugly green that does not sit, suit the project well at all. But, <coughs> there's a ton of sheep in that house, I guess. Maybe it's a source of all the colored sheep wandering around here. Um, there's one up there, there is some yellow sheep, or oh, there's a green one, a gray one, um, there's a yellow sheep popping around on these fences a while ago, but yeah, there's some crazy colored sheep shenanigans running around this area of, um, one, uh, fancy respawn, and I'm gonna come back over here grab some more netherrack and finish up the plot um what I have going for this plot and then progress to the next stage which involves the aqueduct uh, lining up the aqueduct to be block that and then there's just this little bit left all right I'm back on my plot and I've upgraded it a little bit. I now have lighting around the whole edges and all the edges are obsidianized with the obsidian I had. I believe this is the only obsidian I have left. 53? Yep. Only 53 left and I had these little lava uh, fire light ideas. Um, it's not torches and I realized that lava is not the only way of lighting. I could actually use jack-o'-lanterns but um, I don't really like the looks of them, and so I decided to go with fire, and it will fit the theme more anyways with this looks. And around the edges, they were all six apart, 
which means that is six in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six blocks in between each of the two fires. All the way around the edges, plus on this little island that I converted to gravel now. I also have two little lava lakes and other little fire pedestals. So my plot should be perfectly lit now. Um, there might be some few odd spots, but I could easily fix those and no more torches. So that's always good. I also went and found a ton more slime. But as of now, I'm kind of tired with this project. And I want to go enchant the tool and then maybe get some pranking going. Yeah, uh, very small pranks lame pranks as king noobs would call them but <laughs> I want to get into the great prank battles of 2012 and I will uh, have some plans already no worries about that and speaking of that skeleton standing right there two creepers blew up one of them blew up on obsidian so they only got the glass and the half slab and that was all good and another one blew up right here but fortunately it seems as though if they're standing on half slabs and they blow up they only blow up that half slab because not even this glass blew up only this one single half slab blew up when he was standing right here but my lag tonight has been horrible on the server and I don't like it so I'm gonna end this project here gonna go enchant this diamond pick and uh see if I can get some picking going on all right and dang it that is not what I wanted oh well so I'm currently at Oddmast house Oddmast is a friend of mine from Race for Wool and the spawn among many other communities and Recently, he had a dwarf come along and throw a brick through his windows, and I was kind of shocked to see that he had the thin windows that people could throw bricks through. So I wanted to come along, come along to here, and install some bulletproof, uh, brickproof, excuse me, brickproof glass at his house here, so no more dwarfs could come along and throw bricks through his windows. So, I'll speed up this part along and I'll see you. I'll install these windows. I got them all. I got all the windows. They are now brick proof and his house is now safe from vicious dwarves. So with that being said, I would like to tell Oddmas that I have protected his house and his belongings and no more bricks will come through his windows and ruin his day. And I want to set up these signs and I probably should have had these pre-crafted but it's okay. Um, I can't place these down at all and I almost made trap doors but let's get this going so another brick will be fine <laughs>
let's make a chest and for the first time I recall doing this I'm going to make the painful glass panes so just in case Odd wants to put back his windows back to the way they were he can but he should leave the brick proof glass in just because dwarves can be violent so thanks for watching this episode from the minecraft fan server um actually let's make one more set oh whoops i did not mean to take that and then put it so two and then so more 217 my trademark for chest plus a whole bunch, bunch more glass panes just for because there's more than 19 glass so and I'll just put the rest here because I don't need it anymore so thanks for watching this episode from the Minecraft fan server and I will see you next time